Madrid fans, how are you? Welcome once more to Fanaticos Real Madrid. Welcome to a new video on the channel where we're going to react to the latest clowning around coming to us from Barcelona via the sport newspaper. But we also have recent statements from Javier Tebas announcing their support for Sevilla's complaint about the videos from Real Madrid television. So, you know, go ahead and leave a nice like. Stay with, stay with me until the end of the video. And let's start with David Bernabeu's first clown act. I'm not entirely fond of uh, Carlo Ancelotti. Carleto, something doesn't add up. I have to put it this way. Um, uh, behind that angelic face, that gentleman, that uh, altar boy face that looks like he's never broken a dish, I think something is hiding. I believe what is hidden, it's the hard truth of the club I defend. Ancelotti does what evil does. Does it throw the stone? Here I find it very funny coming from David Bernabeu, the whole throwing the stone and hiding the hand beat because they are more into throwing bills around to the vice president of the referee's technical committee and hide the invoices. Let's remember one of the arguments that the outcry was already at the door to defend those payments. A few years, General Cielana, Cielpal, that the Barcelona club had been doing for decades to the vice president of the referee's committee was to say that Real Madrid had historically been the team. The regime's team, right? And the historically favored team. This is also the argument that Xavi Hernandez has defended in press conferences. That said, evidence. None. Well, yes, the evidence that exists pertains to FC Barcelona with those 8 million euros in bills paid to the Negreira clan but well you know how these people are ne ne first attacking Real Madrid and then well turning a blind eye to the mess in their own club Madrid sends ahead Real Madrid television with its videos in some way spread the message against the, uh, the referees to pressure and condition them using the Negreira case as an excuse I've cast myself as the victim I cultivate, practice victimhood and sell it to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, they're roping me. I find it funny that David Bernabe says this and well, it's something they argue a lot, the journalists, right? It makes me laugh when they say that Real Madrid television and that influences and pressures referees to favor Real Madrid. It's something that surprises me a lot that the team that is going to lead uh, in the league, uh, well, not having received a single red card, uh, it's rifles and... However, FC Barcelona, which is one of the first division clubs that are defending the worst, well, there you have it, without a single penalty against them so far this season. Season and how many penalties have also been awarded to FC Barcelona in the final stretch of the matches to give them those little pushes and put pressure on for that second position, third position. Alongside him at Girona, not in the end. Teta kills the narrative of these people, but as you can see, they keep spreading and spreading. And let me tell you one thing, probably the sports newspaper, has a much wider reach than Real Madrid television, which is the medium they are attacking, which is a medium from Real Madrid. But not after the games, before the games, all right? Uh, because the club basically Florentino and their people do not dare to do what Joan Laporta and Xavi Hernandez do. Which is to pay the vice president of the referee's technical committee or alternatively in press conferences to accuse. That Real Madrid is rigging the competition as if it hadn't been rigged before. Adulterated in a... Traded in the last 20 to 30 years in which FC Barcelona has been paying Negreira, it's also easy to refute with these people, really. Son, they're intermediaries. Which is to stand up and tell what they believe. Then let them be sanctioned, uh, if they are sanctioned. But of course, what happens in Madrid? No, because if not, I'll be sanctioned. I send Real Madrid television ahead. I have everything set up. As legally, they can't touch me. Well, come on. Uh, apply pressure before the matches, which is serious. Ancelotti did the same thing yesterday. Do you, do you like Carl's or not? You did what you did. When and I'm interested, I throw the stone, like yesterday. When I'm not interested, I hide my hand, like on the day of Almeria. It's funny to me when he says here that Laporta and Xavi, well, they speak at press conferences and then they might get sanctioned if they do get sanctioned. But of course, the, the, um, this season we have seen how Xavi has said that the league is rigged with what they have at home. And absolutely nothing has happened to Xavi. We've seen Xavi on the sideline of the pitch calling someone a son of his mother. Uh, absolutely nothing will happen and then they dress up as innocent and unaccused victims. Real Madrid data, by the way, has mentioned here the Almeria game. Let's now go to another segment dedicated to Ivan San Antonio. Follow Stone, Carlo Ancelotti, who is, well, much more unpleasant, much more rude, but uh, well, that I he portrays he himself. Let's alone. listen to it, and you can leave me in the comments what you think of this character, Ivan San Antonio. I don't know if I can say everything I'd like to tell you in one minute. Mug. Oh, sorry. Carlito. 
that sentence from yesterday is tremendous. It's hard for us to get um, used to these new rules, uh, the same ones that allowed you, after three VR decisions, to beat the bottom team at the Bernabeu. It's the only time along with that streak after the era that we were coming out of lockdown and so on where Real Madrid won the league during the pandemic in which I saw that the VAR has acted honestly by correcting three clear mistakes from the field referee because it was a penalty the most. A hand in Jose Luz play because there was a foul with a slap in the face to Jude Bellingham. Not at all the play that we have seen this weekend with the Zumba 1000 that they've put at Nacho's feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, without going any further, also the goal with the shoulder scored by Vinicius Jr. against Almeria. And these people keep accumulating referee decisions day after day. They, they are being favored when in reality all are grasped at the most. Twisting the rules to infinity and beyond and then we're seeing plays. Important Montjuï Greenwood. And you compare it with the penalty they called against Celta de Vigo. And here, absolutely nothing happens. We've seen identical holes on Vinicius Juniors and about, I think it was Gundogan and others. And the award penalties to Lewandowski, I mean, these people really are... It's really very, very crude. They are truly... Jokers, let's continue because this is far from over. Why didn't you say anything then? Why are you saying it now? But it's not the first time we've caught you faking. Sorry, I mean your expression. It's that you underestimated Xavi. You said you wouldn't stoop to his level, that you are a professional, when... Man, it's that Xavi said the league was rigged, and well, yeah, it's also true, it's known in the football world, they laugh a lot about Xavi, because he is a totally, well, yeah, from significant partnership to capability. Lately, they hint that Xavi might stay at the end of... Um, of the season so we celebrate it from here and hope he stays for a very very long time by the way here you're seeing how Carleto is constantly disrespected by renaming him to Carreto and so on if I had any kind of grace fades away. there's a tweet this afternoon saying thank you being Ivan San Antonio's son the character right here growing up and seeing your father as an adult I mean the son will turn out just uh, the same hey, I also don't think this one's going to be very smart so come on let's see how this character ends up attacking Real Madrid and Carleto he didn't say the league was rigged it is what Real Madrid television does every week your bosses your masters your presidents Florentino Perez's Propaganda machine every week. Isa is saying aloud and clear that the league is rigged. Carlito, Carlito. When we were different, yes. Uh, is this being professional? Look, I tell you at least out of respect for soccer and respect for yourself to quit, to say nonsense. So, respect you, the opinions of colleagues, even if you don't agree with them. And above all, respect yourself by not contradicting yourself every week. To these people, to these people who talk about Real Madrid rigging the competition when they have at home the biggest corruption scandal in the history of sports. Right, right, right. Uh, so, uh, sorry in the street of because genuine I'm treating you. single-minded person. I was going to say something else, but they are treating you with a person with very, very low intelligence, right? You is our ass. And then it amuses me. They say they talk about Real Madrid TV videos tampering with the competition. Could Barca do it with Barca TV, but decided to shut it down because I understand it was to double have... the service or triple the service because football club Barcelona to spread crap already counts on the sport newspaper with the chain. Copy with Ser Network with Mundo Deportivo. there that little money which surely well they have it well distributed by the press at the end of the Catalan cave but it doesn't end here because in the big match of Cope they also keep intensifying against Real Madrid and Real Madrid television and now Miguelito Cope well here you have the news the pseudo news that was made up because now we're going to see the cut where it says, where it says, yes, that a part of the lager room, but no, but yes, and starts to go around not agreeing with the videos from Real Madrid television. And by the way, then this news has been echoed because they've copied it.
Durinus Miguelito Cope Miguelito Cope Ugarito Xindarote, a lot of learning thrown, no waiter on the way public for the moment, barking from there, even the Guinea in Yila even though forward Bolivia fashion is also from death date again, one day news is better, guy. Okay? The channel on the talk shows of the Cope Network, let's listen San to Milerico. Milerico. Although the message coming out of the locker room is that with or without videos, time harming the referees, that's what much of the Real Madrid locker room thinks, since there's a quite significant sector who believes that this and the end is doing more harm than good issuing the videos isn't such a great idea. Preventative measures on the official channel are called the week after. If it is going to be directly transferred to the club's leaders, they do respect their decision because obviously they are employees. And the main lines are drawn up top and respected, but I insist the thinking of several players is that this could ultimately backfire on them and even at times is hurting them. Interesting that they say the players think this could backfire on them when it's been we worked for quite a while. Looking at decisions not from this season but from for many years now and the statistical anomalies that have been following Real Madrid in the balance of penalties in favor, penalties against red cards, Chin in favor, red cards against. Now I'm going to share with you some images of a play here. Okay, what happened? Yesterday in the match between Rayo Vallecano and Girona at Montilivi, it's funny that Rayo Vallecano will run out of gas from hitting hard. And press as they did in Vallecas against Real Madrid. And it turns out that this play you're seeing here led to the Rayo Vallecano player's expulsion. It was the second yellow card yellow and of course this contrasts quite a bit to me with this image from previous seasons as, uh, specifically this one on the right is from the game Real Madrid played last year in Vallecas where they lost if I remember correctly by 3 to 2 and this one here is from the previous season two years ago as well uh, Ivan enjoyed the class more than analyzing May's aggression these two plays affecting Vinicius Jr. were not penalized with yellow cards. Well, just so you see, sorry, uh, to show you how Real Madrid's videos affect the referees' uh, television and how it arms them. What we're really seeing this season is the same crap we've been uh, suffering year after year. Uh, Spanish league is... I'm leaving home angry. The other day we beat Sevilla and I'm leaving feeling disgusted. Like the anti-Real Madrid sentiment in the media, in the teams and among rival fans. Okay, I'm not saying you should be welcomed with a red carpet, but it gets to me how disgusting. Ale I would love for the Super League to come and impoverish and bankrupt many clubs in Spain. Spain. I say it as I feel it and for what I experience. In the day-to-day -day of Spanish football, then you play the Champions League and it's something completely different regarding fans' treatment in international media, but the thing about Spain really... It's a celebration. It's a swamp and it's a real dump. All the media was telling you about that news that Miguelito stays on the cope. Well, and it has also been a good here. the newspaper... The not paper marker writes it all down <laughs> here as if it were their own article and in the end they end up saying that it's information they've given in the big match in Copenhagen as a synodis about the cup I don't know what you guys think about this I think the mountains don't know another small almond hey I know I'm going to get excited for example take out Tori Pot brings 45 donuts from Rondick inside the Galt Amelia much more than the brand much more than much more than the cop that the Cadena Sir and others, I think, continue to do very well in making videos, even though they do not change the trend in the biased refereeing that has been suffered. Uh, Real Madrid, I told you, it has not been the only news that leaves us today regarding Real Madrid television videos. Because, uh, obviously, called uh, Javier Tebas, League 2's president. Javier Tebas, the declining one. 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 From Real Madrid side, uh, he, uh, he said, we're going to hear it now that they're going to join Sevilla's complaint against Real Madrid television. You uh, are under With the pressure the Twitter media have exerted, for example, videos chasing referees so that you don't... Uh, Anything seen in favor of Real Madrid, like with a goal, 
like with Gold TV from Rores Television. I wonder if they were going to denounce covers like that one from El Mundo. I don't know if it was El Mundo Deportivo or the sport that went to the town of a referee to say his father was a Real Madrid fan because he had a club and then they had the... That correcting in the newspaper, I don't know. I wonder if the league is going to act exactly the same on those issues. Well, let's listen to Javier Tebas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you I next time. I already said we were going to do it and it was Sevilla, not us. To file a complaint, uh, we are not legitimized in the field of competition. We will appear in person. And we believe, uh, and we have been saying this, uh, the matter of Real Madrid television is a topic. Uh, it was said by Madrid's own after the Almeria match, the commentators. This is what we wanted, right? I find it funny that here Javier Tebas, who will of course drop the phrase, I am a Real Madrid fan, refers to the Almeria match because this season there has been in mistakes that have hurt Real Madrid. We could talk... Three penalties, I do not have a Santiago Bernabeu derby, disastrous game. Ricardo de Rolloa, que Ricardo de Burgos come home, la nada malo. The name will come out now in the match against Sevilla for Real Madrid at Sanchez Pizjuan. But they refer in to the a sense, couple. Sorry. The, the behavior. Well, it has corrected three clear and manifest errors of the referee on the field. This campaign continues to try to turn three VAR successes, three mistakes and a message sent to the referees. It doesn't matter if it was done or you make a mistake. Chef, I can, I manage, if it favors Real Madrid, we're going to make your life impossible and we'll constantly remind you. However, if the, if you mess up and harm Real Madrid, don't worry. We'll whitewash it for you in the media. Chef, yeah, they, why as false, are they, um, we're uh, gonna still bury it. There won't be any news against you, but while well, here it is more uh, open. Well, what happened is that, uh, that's no longer uh, a matter of freedom of speech in sports. It goes against good sportsmanship, uh, which I believe is never in our regulations. It really is an infraction. Criticism is fine. It's okay to say that things are not okay at the same time, but well, in the constant mockery every week, uh, the superiority, We'll do it when we want, because that's the message they convey. Notice that here it amuses me because it refers to, to good sportsmanship, to the spirit of the game. You know what goes against the spirit of competition? Competition and the spirit of the league and fair play. Paying the vice president of the referees technical committee for decades. And that you hurry to coming out in a press conference to say it's expired, that nothing can be done against a club who has been tampering with the competition for decades and moreover is backed by statistical anomalies that have been putting off for decades that it's not a matter of one or two seasons and then it gets fixed. But it has always been tightening and we are seeing it this season FC Barcelona has received zero penalties. Real Madrid has had 27 goals disallowed. 27 goals with VR because everything is scrutinized. Everything is thoroughly analyzed. How is it possible that Real Madrid's goal the other day against Sevilla was annulled? It's the first time we've seen that happening. Zoom in on the screen. I think it was Kaleyon who completely sweeps him and it immediately ends in a goal. How can you sell me, Javier Tebas, that the refereeing is fair for everyone? How do I buy it, buddy? How do I buy it? How I can buy that Real Madrid has no right to make those videos of refereeing mistakes that harm Real Madrid is that if we also made a video among the reasons favoring FC Barcelona is that we didn't have TV slots to broadcast the videos. We don't care what they say. We Thanks for watching. Do it whenever we want because we believe we as a club. I am a Real Madrid fan, like a gentleman's club, it should be. That can't be his constant argument, in my opinion. You're going to be a Real Madrid fan. Javier Tebas, you're trash as a person. You're not a Real Madrid fan, really. Wash your mouth, wash your mouth before you talk about Real Madrid and say you're a fan. Madrid fans may have many opinions, but deny you, bloody. But you are not a Madrid fan. Make that crystal clear. Anyway, guys, leave your opinions in the comments about this creepy character. Truly disgusting indeed. The directors and leaders in football, uh, Spainios, and they apply kingdoms to all... See you next time. Bye-bye.